This is the creator edition of the T7 Shield portable SSD storage device that Samsung has sent me to try out. As you can see, it comes in a very nice box which opens to reveal an inspirational leaflet as well as the T7 Shield itself. As this is the Shield version of the T7, it's covered in a thick rubber layer that protects it from scratches, dust, water ingress and drops. You can drop it from three meters apparently. I haven't tried that, but Samsung says it will be fine. This is the two terabyte version. I still find it amazing you can fit two terabytes on something so small. And it takes USB-C. It's USB-C 2.3 Gen 2, which allows data to flow in and out at around a thousand megabytes a second. So one gig takes just one second to recall to the SSD or from it. Obviously, these data rates mean copying large files or multiple files between the T7 and your computer can be done in much less time than with a standard storage device and a whole lot quicker than with a spinning disk external hard drive. As this is the Creator Edition, it comes with a little white pouch, uh, very natty, that you can fit your T7 Shield into to give it further protection should it need it. There's a little clip on the back that you can clip onto your jeans, onto your camera bag, or onto somewhere else uh, that will allow you access to your storage when you need it. It also comes with some stickers that you can put uh, on your laptop, perhaps. I don't know where you put stickers nowadays. Uh, more business end is the USB cables. Yeah, no one's interested in that bit. But there are two cables. You get USB-C to A and USB-C to C. Obviously, the USB-A version you'll probably use for your PC. Uh, and the USB-C to C you'll use for your phone, your tablet, also for your laptop. Um, these aren't just any old cables either. They're nice and thick and high-speed cables that are going to make the most of the data rates that this storage device offers. I'm going to make the most of the one gig a second data rates by using the T7 Shield to record 5.8K ProRes 4.4.2 footage directly from my camera, as regular memory cards just can't cope with the amount of data this codec produces. With this thing strapped to my camera, I can record half an hour of the best ProRes settings or almost 30 hours of high class 4K 4.2.2 10-bit 25p video without having to worry that anything's going to overheat or run out of space.